12-year-old Sharon Carr was considered one of the most disgusting human beings you could ever come across. At just 12 years old, she was considered Britain's youngest female killer. Now Sharon Carr also dubbed as the devil's daughter for her twisted and perverse imagination. From the moment Sharon was born, she had been failed in every aspect of her life. She came from a broken home where domestic violence was rife. Her mum poured boiling water over her stepdad. She had to fight for the affection of her mum and stepdad with her siblings, which meant it was a battle for any child in the Carr household to gain attention. Now Sharon soon learned that she needed, obsessed, fantasised over attention, love, she craved it. Having another person solely focused on herself, that meant that Sharon formed intense relationships in an instance. And whenever it ended abruptly, she fantasised about murder. She craved it. Now Sharon Carr was only 12 years old when she took the life of a stranger she had never met before. No previous encounters. All because she deemed it would be fun. 18 year old hairdresser Katie Ratcliffe was stabbed 32 times. On June 7th, 1992, innocent 18 year old Katie Ratcliffe was walking home from bars in the Camberley area. Now she had been out for drinks in the local bars and was enjoying her joyful young life when she bumped into her ex-boyfriend. Now the two began to speak on the street but during the conversation Katie's ex-boyfriend had informed her that he was in town with another woman. Right there and then the conversation was abruptly cut and ended and Katie decided to end the night by walking home alone. Big mistake. Even though she was drunk she knew what she was doing. Unfortunately that was the last time that anybody would see Katie alive. The next day Katie's body had been found slumped on a road by a cemetery wall in the Farnborough area which is five miles away from Camberley. She was found dead by a group of boys. The apprentice hairdresser had been stabbed 32 times with a six inch blade. Injury locations included the ribs, heart, bum and private parts, both back and front. Now, in the ferocious attack, Katie had also been robbed of her jewellery. Now, when police investigated the crime, they initially had no idea that a 12 year old child could be guilty of such violence. After all, the force of the blade, noted by police, said it had gone through Katie's body. For the next few years, police worked on the motive and the notion that the person responsible for the death of Katie Ratcliffe was a fully grown man, and they even made a sketch that was brought out to the public. This meant that Sharon Carr was free to attend secondary school and continue to boast to her friends and family and jot down the wicked pleasures in a diary. She was scot-free as far as she was concerned. Now two years later to the day after Ratcliffe's murder on June 7th 1994, Sharon Carr attacked 13 year old pupil Anne Marie Clifford with a knife for no apparent reason in the girls toilets at Collingwood College Comprehensive School in Surrey. Now Anne Marie was stabbed in the back which punctured her lung and she nearly died as a result of her injuries. Now that attack was only stopped because five students entered the toilets and intervened which likely saved Anne Marie's life. According to witnesses, when the attack took place, Sharon was actually smiling and appeared happy during the attack. Now, Sharon was quickly arrested and told officers that she enjoyed stabbing cats and also beheaded a dog. Now, soon after the 14-year-old was arrested, Sharon Carr was sent for an evaluation and then detained under Her Majesty's pleasure. During her time, Sharon strangled two nurses and also wrote and spoke to friends and family about the joy and euphoria she felt when she committed her heinous crimes. She also discussed the murder of Katie with her probation officer. Diaries were seized and so was phone transcripts. Now her diaries were found to contain details of her sexual excitement at the thought of Ratcliffe's death. And she also commented that she felt jealous of her victim and remarked about the devil and the forces which motivated her. One passage read, If only I could kill you again, I promise I'd make you suffer more this time. That passage was followed by profanities. Your terrified screams turned me on. In the diary it also included facts that the police had not released to the general public about things like mutilation and Sharon had also written I swear I was born to be a murderer and in a letter to a friend wrote I'm a killer, killing is my business and business is good. Now Sharon Carl was jailed for manslaughter and sentenced to serve a minimum of 14 years and right now she's due to be released. Is this the type of person you want to be walking around on the streets? Let me know. Stay safe. Safe.